This is the Wise Guy Radio Show, a podcast dedicated to educating and inspiring through conversations with today's top talents in the world of glass. We will be dissecting their journeys in hopes to deliver actionable content that you, the artist, can start implementing now, helping you grow not only as a creative spirit, but also a successful artistic entrepreneur. With a little organization, relationship building, and your artistic ability, you can obtain greatness. Climb aboard, whether an artist, retail owner, or enthusiast. We have a ton of fun in store for you. Welcome to the Wise Guy Radio Show. This episode of the Wise Guy Radio Show is brought to you by American Helix. The American Helix is a revolutionary new concept in smoking technology. Designed and manufactured by American glassblowers, this pipe is light years ahead of its time. Based on Brunoli's principle, the shape of the pipe along with an innovative intake system creates a venturi effect through precision micro holes in the chamber, which results in a slower burn that conserves tobacco and gives a smooth, refreshing smoking experience, making the American Helix the smoothest hitting pipe on the market. For further info or to locate their products, you can find them online at AmericanHelix.com. That's AmericanHelix.com. This episode of the Wise Guy Radio Show is brought to you by Zen Glass Studios. Located in the heart of St. Petersburg, Florida, Zen Glass has a wide range of offerings to choose from. Their menu includes one-on-one or group classes in their hot shop or flame working studio, create your own wine glass, and so much more. If you're a traveling artist, they even have a space to rent that you can temporarily call home. With over 50 years of combined experience, Zen Glass can help you fine-tune your techniques, whether you're a novice or advanced glass artist. For their calendar of events, including info about their third Thursday studio jams, you can contact Zen at zenglass.com. That's zenglass.com. Hey, what's happening? Welcome to the Wise Guy Radio Show, episode number 143. This is Jay Michael, your host, and thank you so much for tuning in today. Today's episode is going to feature my top five favorite productivity apps for 2017, and these are apps that I've been using for the majority of the year. Uh, a couple of them are actually new to me at, towards the end of the year, but the majority, uh, the first three, I uh, have actually been using for actually about a year and a half now. And I thought today would be a good day to talk about this because it is now a new year, a new beginning, 2017. Uh, if you're listening to this in June or July or August, uh, obviously, uh, we're a day late and a dollar short. But it doesn't matter because all this information is still applicable uh, for whenever. You know, it's uh, what we consider to be uh, evergreen content in a sense to where really you can listen to this uh, in 10 years or last year. And it is all still applicable to today. So I wanted to get into the, that idea and concepts of really uh, being more productive and being focused and organized in 2017, uh, especially because of the way the glass, uh, especially the functional glass scene is becoming more and more uh, viable uh, for an income source and for you to support your friends. Or I guess you can support your friends if you want, <laughs> but to support your families and also yourself. Uh, it's very, very important that you become organized that way that as the money rolls in and as orders come in, you can stay on top of everything. Uh, I know myself personally, over the 18 years of doing this, uh, the many areas of my struggles in life has been lack of organization, uh, lack of setting systems for myself. I mean, just everything in general. I'm still yeah, now 40 years old, still learning these concepts. Uh, my wife is actually one of the reasons why I've actually survived <laughs> the last couple of years because she's all about this stuff and it's really helped me to fine tune and learn these tools myself. And as I learn things, as I always like to say, I like to share with you as well. Uh, and hopefully you are already doing these things or you're going to take what I talk about and then implement these into your life as well. Uh, so before we do that, though, I wanted to let you know that right now, Mountain Glass is a big sale for January 2017. They are offering a sale on Golden Gate tubing for borosilicate lamp workers. Uh, right now, you can put in the code Golden Gate at checkout. That's G O L D E N G A T E at checkout to receive 20% off Golden Gate tubing. And then for all you soft glass nerds, they have their Effetre Moretti Rod 30% off sale. Just put in the code Effetre at checkout. That's E-F-F-E-T-R-E at checkout. 
And uh, any other things or questions you guys have for Mountain Glass, definitely give them a heads up. Check them out, mountainglass.com. And anybody that checked out and hooked up their cells with our last month's exclusive sale for you, the listener, thank you, thank you. Because uh, part of it not only was a thank you uh, from us, for myself and Mountain Glass, to you, the audience, to you listening to this now, uh, but it was also kind of a way for us to kind of gauge to see really uh, how you are taking the sales and the the marketing and what have you uh, that I'm doing for Mountain Glass through their sponsorship uh, and just kind of seeing how things are crossing over and how you're really taking Good. and, and using it. Uh, it also gives us a chance to gauge the audience size because uh, if you're new to the show, you may not have, you haven't obviously heard this before, but it's really hard for myself personally to gauge exactly how broad and large our audience is. Um, I do know that through certain uh, parts of the hosting that I used for the podcast itself, I can go in there and see geographical stats. I can see where this is being listened to all over the world. I mean, literally, per episode, I can break down. I can go over to Europe and break down. Uh, I can go into the UK, and then I can break it down from the UK and see specifically in the UK where people are listening to the show, which is freaking amazing. But that being said, it still doesn't allow me to see the exact number of how many of you are actually listening to the show. And so by doing things like offering sales at Mountain Glass that are exclusive just for this podcast, it kind of gives us an idea of really how big our audience is. So I do hope that you have uh, definitely taken advantage of these sales. And also a way for myself personally to gauge how big this audience is, is by you subscribing to our newsletter and also to by subscribing to the podcast itself. So two ways of going about it. You can go to wiseguymedia.com. At the very bottom of the page, you will see where it says subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, and also you can go there and fill it out your email address, uh, get on top of that. Um, also, we're going to have some opt-ins coming in soon, some new stuff, uh, working with a company called Lead Pages that's going to give you guys some insights. Uh, some Basically, you'll be able to go to the show notes page and uh, input your email and stuff and get some content from the show's. Uh, more exclusive content that I will not be putting in the actual show notes itself, but things that you'll be able to download, take uh, full advantage of, uh, whether it's checklists, uh, going to be some great, like, all kind of stuff we're offering. 2017s. There's a lot of things in the plans right now that we're pumped about, including our Wise Guy. Uh, we're calling it the Wise Guy Institute of the Advancement of Borosilicate Flame Working. It's a mouthful. But uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're super excited about it. Uh, but finally got all my equipment and things lined up. Uh, I'm waiting for uh, my uh, second torch to come in so I can actually get all of my personal filming done for the online courses at home. I was going to do some filming over at the studio over at Zen Glass where I'm at. But because they're so busy all the time and there's constant people there, the only way I could actually film and actually make it work is if I was there at like 4 o'clock in the morning. And even then, there's people there working. It's it's, it's pretty amazing to have a studio with 24-hour access that's literally being used 24 hours a day. So to get more of a, a fine-tuned film a recording process for you to be able to actually watch and learn and not have distractions of people walking around and whatever, um, I'm going to be filming all of these educational series at home. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to be starting to do some FaceTime live videos uh, and also the Instagram lives and different things just to start this process, uh, as well as getting the YouTube channel going uh, with some vlogs. Most of the stuff on the YouTube channel is going to be more of the organizational and business side of things, where the actual online course stuff will be more of the educational side for glass technique. Uh, we're going to be doing everything from setting up your studios, uh, tools to buy, certain equipment, materials, ventilation, running over uh, how to, like, basically running over, but going through the process of setting up, like, your liquid oxygen tanks. Uh, we're going to be bringing on guests, again, back to talk about uh, basically how to, like, if you had, like, a home uh, oxygen systems, how to set those up. All kind of, we have a lot, a lot of things in store for you for this year, which I'm super excited about. And we're not, I'm not saying we're officially starting year three, but we are about to end year two here in June, which is just fantastic. Uh, last month, I had a goal for 10,000 downloads, and the last two weeks of the month, as we all know, was super crazy with the holidays and stuff, and I got really sick myself, and I had no voice to record. I didn't want to start putting out best ofs and stuff, because it's just, I've been, I, I kind of feel like I do that a little too much. I want to give you some fresh new content. Uh, but that being said, I basically had two weeks worth of shows in December, and 
my goal for the month was 10,000 downloads. We got close to 9,000 downloads, which is absolutely fucking amazing. Just the fact that I'll only really put out episodes over a two-week period of time. So that being said, if I would have done, say, four weeks, potentially we could have had 16,000 downloads for the month. I mean, I, I really don't know. And downloads are just for those that have subscribed to the podcast through iTunes, uh, through a couple different uh, podcast catchers out there. Uh, if you have a Droid, uh, the, the Stitcher app is one you can listen to, but you can't actually download the show. So we like to assume in the numbers game of the podcast world that you basically double your download numbers, and that's how many listens you've had. So we're just about uh, at 70,000 downloads total for a year and a half worth of shows. So I'm guessing we're close to 200,000 uh, or yeah, about 200,000 downloads. We yeah, have figured 145, 150,000 downloads or listens, which is awesome. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, I was going somewhere at the very beginning of this rant. Now I'm ending it because <laughs> I got to get on the show and I don't want to rant on all day with you. Uh, but if you are new to, this, new to this podcast, definitely go on to iTunes, whatever you have to listen to this, subscribe to the show. Uh, definitely please leave me a review, write one, and also whatever star rating you feel we deserve. And also, which I'm not sure if you heard yet or not, which I did announce before, but we are now able to be listened to directly on iHeartRadio. And the iHeartRadio app is on all phones. If you don't have it yet, you can download the iHeartRadio uh, app. You can go to your uh, the search engine there and the iHeartRadio app and just put in the Wise Guy Radio Show and it'll pop up. And you can listen to us directly through iHeartRadio uh, as well as on the website. You can download and stream live from there. Uh, the website we had a I don't I'm constantly having some bullshit dealings with this website I don't know what it is I might be changing hosting here pretty soon because it's getting a little frustrating but something happened where my theme changed which completely threw the entire website out of out of whack uh, so after I record this and get this out I'm going to be going onto the website and getting things lined up and kind of reorganized a little bit so in the meantime definitely subscribe to our newsletter you can please do that it gives me a chance to communicate with you better on a regular basis as well as you get access to all things up to date in the wise guy media brand uh, whether it's our online course series uh, to do's list checklist pdfs all these downloadable information i have for you that i've created over the last year and a half uh, also gives you some uh, more or less bonus kind of content uh, but basically what we're doing is giving you a sneak peek of these episodes before they actually are put out onto the world of, of the podcast world uh, to download them so it's more like a members-only kind of deal. Even though it's not a membership, it's a free thing. But by subscribing to this podcast, by subscribing to the newsletter, you'll get these ahead of time. And then, uh, you know, iHeartRadio, there's all kind of different ways of listening to this. So either way, have fun. Pick which one you use and go for it. Also, share with your friends and family. Uh, if you have friends that are kind of wondering what it is you do for a living or how you got into glass blowing or what this flame working community is all about, Hook them up at the show. Let them know what it's about. Maybe pick your favorite episode. You know, that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, so 10 minutes in here, I'm going to start rambling and get on with the show. So here we're going to talk about uh, the top my, my five favorite apps that I will be using even more so in 2017. Man, it's so weird, 2017. Holy Jesus. So, again, a couple of these ones I've been using for a while now. And uh, so, yeah, so here we go. So the first app I, I am going to talk about here is Evernote. Uh, and Evernote is basically an app for, as it states, is for taking notes. Uh, Evernote is a lot more than just a note-taking app, though. What I like about Evernote is the fact of how massive it is in terms of the things you can do with this app. Uh, this is by far my favorite app to use. Uh, it's great for brain dumps, whether you're journaling via text or even recording an audio file. If you're on the road driving and you got an idea real quick, you can just hit your app, hit your record button, and you can literally record an audio version that you can then go back and listen to and take notes. Um, or if you have like another app that you can use as a, like a dictation type of thing, you can plug it in there and it'll write everything out for you that you said. Um, because we, as we all know, a lot of times with voice text, you go to tell somebody, you know, like for instance, lately I've been having things with my GPS. I'll type my, to my wife saying, hey, GPS says I'll be there at 6 o'clock. When the text actually ends up saying, God says I will be there at 6 o'clock because it's just auto text. It's really silly. So by doing an actual verbal audio recording, uh, it gives you a chance not only to just keep brain dumping, but also gives you a chance to listen to it back and then really fine-tune what it is that you're trying to say. Uh, it's also ideal for keeping lists of things to do, your gross shopping lists, uh, orders pending, and setting reminders for yourself as well. It's super easy to use, and once you begin to learn how to create folders that you'll keep files in, your life will become more organized, and you'll forget less. 
This is, has been a major change for me personally as someone who deals with ADD, which is a constant struggle all day long, daily, always, my entire life. Uh, something I truly needed uh, this in my life that has become easily accessible, and I know I will open it and read it in a simple place to jot down notes any time of the day, and especially while I'm commuting, which I do a lot. For those of you who have uh, not ever tuned in before, this is your first episode. I work over uh, at Disney World as a glass artist out there uh, several days a week, and my commute is 1.5 hours one way. Uh, it's basically 95 miles in one direction. It's a straight shot, so it's a nice quick drive, but still it's an hour and a half drive. I do a lot of writing and reading and verbal communication on the road with this app. Uh, in the past, I'd purchase a daily calendar or a journal and I'd use it, but then I would forget about it, which is stupid, but I have a shit ton of journals I've been collecting over the years that I just maybe use for two weeks or three weeks and then would completely forget about it, that I even had it. You know, I, I buy something to get organized, I get organized, and then I forget that I'm organized, and I can't find what I'm looking for because I'm organized. It's fucking stupid. Evernote, it's on your phone, it's in your hand all the time, in your back pocket. It also allows you to uh, take this app and go across several platforms. So, for instance, for myself, I have this app on my iPad, my iPhone, and also my laptop. And my laptop is just a regular PC laptop. But that being said, you can sync all your things together. Um, you can actually upgrade this app. It costs 10 bucks a month to do that, but it allows you to sync it across more than just two platforms. So right now, the only things I have synced up because I'm not paying for it is my iPhone and my computer. That way I can type everything on my computer when I'm typing and I'm in my office space. I can then sync it onto my phone and I can see what it was that I wrote. So when I'm doing the show or I'm trying to communicate to somebody else, I can say, hey, here's what I did. It's a really simple idea and really simple to use. Uh, one of the tricks, though, is that as soon as you get this tri this app opened up and begin to use it, you need to create folders immediately that you're going to keep your files in. For instance, for myself, uh, new folders I've created for this year, I have Podcast 2017, I have Brain Dump 2017, Daily Tasks, and also Checklists, Kids Schedules for the Month, Monthly Recurring Bills, and then for the Monthly Recurring Bills, I've actually set a reminder for each individual bill in there that will remind, remind me three to five days before the actual bill will hit my account. So I can make sure I check my account balances to make sure that the funds are in there to be covered and pay for that bill. Again, this is really good stuff because this is going to remind you for things that you need to do, whether it's a task, it's in a meeting, it's an event, etc. Uh, one of the best things, too, I like about this is the fact that you can do brain dumps. Uh, lately, what I've been doing myself is before I go to bed, because my way my brain works, typically in the morning when I wake up, it takes me a little bit to shake off the cobwebs. And if you can, before you go to bed, do a quick brain dump of all the things that you think you need to get done for the day coming up next or things you didn't get done that day you want to continue to uh, do the next day or the next day after that just do a quick brain dump because that way when you do this stuff you're not going to lay in bed and just stare at the ceiling and think about all the shit you have to do if you already got it out of your head and it's on a folder in a file in a checklist it's going to ease your mind it's amazing how much easier you'll sleep at night when all this shit is out of your head the things that you sit and think about on a constant basis this app is perfect for getting those things out of your head and getting yourself organized. If you know you have orders pending that you're worried about or you have to call a certain customer or you need to send out emails or you have a date with a girlfriend or boyfriend or you have to take your dog to the vet, whatever it's going to be, this app is going to be huge. And it's also going to get you into the habit of creating these habits and routines of checking this on a daily basis, creating lists, creating scheduling, all that stuff. It's huge. So... That's one reason I recommend using this for 2017. Another bonus with this app is that you can capture receipts. And the cool thing about this is that you can take the receipt, you can hold it in your hand or put it on a surface, and the actual app will just take a picture of just the receipt. It completely blocks out everything in the background. So, for instance, when we were going through tolls last year, I was doing a lot of traveling on the road. Uh, my assistant, Mike Dora, or, or was my, excuse me, was my assistant at the time, uh, he would he had the app on his phone also and was part of my upgrade I did but he would just take a capture a picture of the receipts through the toll booths because toll booths that when you pay that fee when you're traveling and you're selling your work that's an expense that you should go write off on your taxes I know it's only a dollar maybe 50 cents or 75 cents per toll but that shit adds up especially when you're traveling and you have mileage it all adds up so this is another bonus for this app is by being able to capture any any invoice you get an order in from Mountain Glass Obviously, uh, those that order from Mountain Glass or any other company that you get your materials from, you know typically they'll put their, your invoice and a little envelope kind of gimmick on top of the, of the box. Rip that bastard open, 
and take some pictures of it so it's in your app so you always have it. And then at the end of the year or your end of your quarter when you're doing your taxes with your accountant, you can forward all those receipts to them and they're all organized. You can create folders for specific receipts, whether it's your materials expenses, oxygen, propane expenses, tools, equipment, all that stuff, your mileage, all that stuff. Again, another important folder to keep in this Evernote is mileage. That way, when you get in your car before you leave for a trip, you go into your mileage app, you put your date in there on that new note, you put in your beginning miles, and then when you stop at wherever you're at, don't forget to go in there and write down the miles that you took that took you to get there. And if you do forget, a good little hack to do this is just throw in Google Maps. And this is what I've done before at the end of the year when my accountant's like, okay, so what are your mileage is like? I'm like, oh shit, I've been, I know one here and here and here and here and here. Take an hour if you need to or whatever it takes. Put your addresses into Google Maps and it'll show you what your distance is from where you live to where you travel to. And then just write that shit down. Obviously, it times it by two because it's going to be be returning home. So a little simple hack there. So Evernote, it is great for keeping track of all your lists, checklists, scheduling appointments, grocery lists, to-dos, and receipts. Uh, the second app I recommend is Dropbox. Uh, Dropbox has been used for years and years and years by big businesses to share files with each other amongst companies. Uh, myself, personally, I use Dropbox for storing files like pictures, uh, all my MP3s for the show. It's amazing. I paid like 10 bucks a month for the upgrade version because I need a larger system of files. And I haven't even hardly put a dent into the amount of space that I have still left, which makes you sometimes wonder if I should just downgrade and not have the extra 10 bucks a month. But that being said, having this Dropbox is also nice because if you have someone that is an assistant to you, um, or if you want to share a, a catalog, for instance, if you've created a catalog, you can put that catalog into a folder on your Dropbox and then you can create a, a share file or a share link. And if you have a customer that wants to see your, your, your uh, catalog, you can just send them the link and they can open up your Dropbox and then they can see it. Because as you know, when you send a file through email, you're only limited to a certain size file. A catalog can be a big, big file un unless you do a zip file and a zip file can be a pain in the ass. So just create a Dropbox account, create a folder that's your catalog, put all your pictures in there, make it nice and pretty, and then your customers can open up your catalog. Uh, it's also, again, good for sharing files and what have you. It's also good for backups for your phone. You can automatically sync your phone to your Dropbox to back up all your photos that you have. That way, when your phone memory is full because you have 10,000 fucking pictures on there like mine usually does, you can make sure that your pictures are on your Dropbox. And then you just go through your phone and you delete all your pictures and then you have all this new space. You'd be amazed. It's huge. So another reason I recommend Dropbox. Uh, the third one, which is new for me actually this, this year, I just got turned on to this, is called Acuity Scheduling. Um, I used to use another scheduling app for my podcast and I just got out of the habit of using it. I didn't like everything it offered. This one is actually amazingly simple to use and has lots of bells and whistles. And it's also, it does this one is free for a trial, but it does eventually cost you like 10 bucks a month where most of your other scheduling apps out there actually are like 30 to 40 bucks a month. So that's one benefit with Acuity. Uh, what's nice about this is that it's, this might seem a bit out of sorts, but this app will help you better schedule your life and stay on task. Not only is this app great for scheduling your appointments with clients, but also scheduling in personal time. Uh, there's a reminder feature that sends you and the third party involved a text and email sharing the date, time, and location of scheduled events. Even if it's a Skype call, meeting at Starbucks, or around a disc golf, or even a scheduled hour of downtime, this, this app will help fine-tune your day and help keep you on task. Even if you set an appointment for your day's studio shift, this will keep you focused as you'll be reminded of your next scheduled appointment, like dinner at home or even a workout. Being able to set a schedule on a visible digital calendar will open your eyes to better time efficiency and development of routines and habits. It will also give you the freedom to let your friends and clients schedule their own appointment with you based on the times that you've made available on the scheduled or on the online scheduler. So here's an example. If you know that every day you want to go to the studio and work from 10 to 6, you put this into your scheduling app. This will then black out that time frame during your studio time. So if someone wants, to, wants time with you, they can go to this app on their phone or online and they can see on your scheduler that you're not available during the time of your studio times. Now you can also schedule blocks of time. So for instance, you want to set a block from 10 to 2 p.m. for the first shift. You could then schedule a block of an hour for lunch. 
And this could be where you have an open hour to make phone calls, meet with a friend or a significant other. And then you can set a third block of time from, say, 3 to 6 p.m. for your second block of studio time. As soon as a notification alerts you that 6 p.m. is getting close, because you can set alerts to let you know when your next schedule is going to end or begin, you could begin to wrap up your last item that you're on and get ready, ready to end your day in the studio. Super, super, super simple. And this is just one example of how you can take full advantage of this app and truly have a focused, productive day that you and those whom you would like to have some time with can physically see your schedule on quote unquote paper. So this is called Acuity Scheduling. And I have all the links to all these apps uh, at the end of each little thing on the show notes that you'll get. Uh, the fourth one I like to use is called FreshBooks. Uh, FreshBooks is an online invoicing accountant program. Uh, invoicing has become hassle-free with this app. Easy to use FreshBooks is a great online cloud accounting app that allows you to send professional looking invoices, track your payments, and even receive payments helping you and your clients keep on the same page. There is a free version as well as many upgrades that are useful if you have a larger scale business. Instead of having to lug around a paper invoice book, you can simply email your customers the invoice, which is also helpful when growing your email list. And just a quick side note, just so you know, uh, they have policies very similar to all the other online uh, markets, the big cartels and the Etsy's and the PayPal's, etc. Uh, when it comes to what products that you're allowed to sell and receive funds from. So what I've done is just created some kind of generic uh, titles for items that I make. There's zero anything that has to do with anything pipe in it. It just says like repair, auction, whatever, S sculpture, and then you can send this to your, your customers, and then they can pay you with PayPal or through their uh, debit cards or, or, or uh, credit cards, and then you'll receive the payment. Now, it does take about three to five days for the, the money once you receive it and have been paid to get then sent to your checking account, and very similar to anything else like PayPal or whatever, unless like, you know, for instance, with PayPal, you can have a PayPal debit card. Now, that can become you know something. Well, I'm not even going to go there with it. But the nice thing with this is that it allows you to keep track of all your invoices. It allows you to keep track of your expenses as well, which is nice. You can link this to your checking account so you can then have everything come over. So that way at the end of the year, again, just like the very first one with uh, using the Evernote and keeping track of your receipts, uh, this one makes it even easier to keep track of all your expenses. So not only do you have now with Evernote, you have an actual physical picture of your receipt with FreshBooks, you now have a written copy in your on your invoicing of what expenses you had by having this synchronized to your checking account. And to kind of back up a little bit too, make sure that if you have a checking account for your business, that you're only using this checking account for your business. You're not using it for any personal expenses at all because it's gonna be a pain in the ass for you to decipher what was expenses for business and what was personal. So just to kind of a side note there. But by having this, and, th and this is an upgrade, so it's like, again, it's like 10 bucks a month, you gotta pay to have this upgrade, but it's such an easy way to keep track of all your stuff. So there you go for that. It's also professional. You can have your logo on there. There's nothing like going to a customer saying, hey, here's your invoice. You can show them on your phone or if you have an iPad or some kind of tablet, you can show them on that and then get their email address and then send it off to them and they'll get it an email. You can also see if they viewed the email invoice. You can see if they paid it, etc. It's super awesome. You can write little personal notes to them. It's I, I, I love it. I've been using this now for almost three years and it's super awesome. And the very last number five I like to recommend is called Every Dollar. And Every Dollar is an app that was developed by Dave Ramsey's company. And Dave Ramsey is a financial guy out there in the world. I'm not sure if, if, you're, if you are familiar with him or not. If you're not familiar with him, you need to become familiar with Dave Ramsey. Uh, he is one of the guys out there in the, in the world of business who has been really implemental or instrumental, I should say, into helping millions and millions and millions of people get out of debt and stay out of debt. Uh, this has... Uh, is a great app to use as a tool to help establish your monthly budgets for your business as well as your personal finances. It's also free, but if you want to pay a small fee, um, it's actually they, they don't, because of them being debt, anti debt, you can't make payments on this. It's a one time $100 a year fee, but the $100, what it does is it links it to your checking account. The checking account, then you can open up this app and you can see uh, where all your expenses are through a little journal that they have for you. And then you can actually categorize each expense. You can set up many budgets besides just your business one. So you have a separate business from a separate personal. So again, it helps keep track of your expenses and also your money coming in and out. And then you can see, okay, so this month's budget, I have $500 I have to spend on materials or I have 
a $2,000 budget, and this $2,000 budget this month has to cover my studio rent, my gases, my materials, etc. And by going through and keeping track of all your stuff, you can really see where your money's going. You can see if you have money left over, so you can adjust your budgets. If you've overspent, then you know you need to increase your revenue or cut back on areas that you're not, you shouldn't be spending your money in. So every dollar is great. Great, great, great. And it's simple. Again, it's a simple little small app for your phone. Super simple to use. To recap my top five favorite apps for 2017 that I do highly recommend that you get. Number one is Evernote. Number two is Dropbox. Number three is Acuity Scheduling. Number four is FreshBooks. And number five is Every Dollar. I will have a link to all of these in the show notes as well as a link to the website uh, to wiseguymedia.com forward slash 143 where you'll have access to all the show notes as well as the links of my write-ups and why I recommend each one of these apps. And I hope this isn't rambling on and whatever, but you know, you know how I do. You know how I do. I like to ramble sometimes because that's how I do. But still, get organized, simplify your life, cut out all the bullshit, get things in your life that are essential, love each other, have a fucking amazing 2017. It's going to be an amazing year. All the politics in this world aside, focus on yourself, focus on your center, on your friends, your family, and your support group. And those that are around you that are supporting you, you better give it back to them and support them too. I love you. Thanks for tuning in to episode 143, talking about my top five favorite apps. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Got to give them all love. And we will talk to you on episode 144 of the Wise Guy Radio Show. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Melton, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace. This episode of the Wise Guy Radio Show is brought to you by Glassroots Art Show. Now entering its ninth year, Glassroots is designed for artists and distributors who wish to do wholesale business with shops and galleries. Located at the Monona Terrace Convention Center on beautiful Lake Monona in downtown Madison, Wisconsin, the art show features at least 25 glass workers demonstrating and creating pieces for public viewing, live and silent auctions, raffles, and approximately 40 booths consisting of raw material supplies, functional and non-functional art, and glass charitable organizations. This year, in 2017, Glass Roots will be held October 9th through the 11th. And for any more information, just go to glassrootsartshow.com. That's glassrootsartshow.com. This episode is also brought to you by The Flow Magazine. Since its inception, the focus of The Flow has been to provide a bond among members of the lampworking community. This has been accomplished by developing relationships with the finest artists and sharing their techniques with you through in-depth, step-by-step tutorials. In every issue, you can enjoy great content with the hottest artists and cutting-edge techniques using the latest industry products. These features, along with the continuation of our Women in Glass edition, Glasscraft Emergent Artist Awards, inspiring gallery showcases, dynamic general interest articles, as well as health and safety information, make The Flow the leading international lampworking journal. For more information or to subscribe to The Flow, go to theflowmagazine.com. That's theflowmagazine.com.